Today, we're going to be talking about our biggest competitor, you. We'll be building a short board with 60 miles of range to show the modularity and capability to build a board as unique as you are. So you're telling me this video is going to lose us money. See, potentially, but the thing is, we're going to be showing everyone how to build a board that's perfect for them. The first thing to think about is if you have the right tools. Today, we're going to be using some Allen wrenches, a drill, some bits, and some wrenches. Let's talk about the parts. You're going to need a deck, an enclosure, a battery, a zenith, a remote, and a drivetrain. Let's get started on mounting this enclosure. For that, we're gonna need a drill bit and a drill. The first thing to consider is to make sure that the enclosure fits on the deck. You wanna make sure that it's wide enough and long enough so that you have enough room to fit the enclosure. Another important thing to take into consideration is the flex of the deck. So we're using a, a very stiff deck here, but if you're gonna use a flexible one, you need to make sure that the enclosure length is less than half the length of the deck. All right, so now that I brought in all the viewers, I'm gonna throw it over to Quentin so he can finish up the build. Hi. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna assemble the drivetrain. This requires our wheels, truck hangers, truck base plates, bearing set, wheel pulleys, motors. We have our risers, our belts, and our motor mounts. Don't mind my setup. This is just to get the best angle for you guys. At this point, I'm gonna be mounting the wheels to the front trucks. All you really need to mount your front trucks and your wheels is a T-tool. Something to consider when you're buying your wheels or your trucks is that it has to be able to fit perfectly on your board to allow for enough clearance on the wheels. You don't want wheel bite when you're turning. So on this, I'm just using standard 97 millimeter wheels and some standard trucks. Even when I'm at full turn, I'm not gonna get any wheel bite. It still has plenty of room to run. You're gonna need hardware to mount all this stuff. Check the product pages to find out the recommended hardware. The front and the rear trucks should have the same process as for mounting to the deck. Before we dive too deep into the enclosure, I just wanna mention our batteries, our motors, and our controllers all work together. So this is something you need to consider when you're buying each individual part. When you're choosing a battery, you wanna consider how much range and how much performance you're going to get. So let's say you wanted a long range board. You would get a large battery and smaller motors to limit your power output, but maximize your rate. Cable connectors are something you need to consider when you're purchasing your different units for your drivetrain. Thankfully, with a little bit of soldering, it's pretty easy to get them switched over and make everything fit together. All right, so we just finished getting everything together. Now I'm just gonna turn it on, test everything out, make sure everything works, and we should be good to go. I would say it works. It looks pretty sweet, doesn't it? I heard the whirring, so I was like, I gotta come check it out and see what's going on. Mounted up real nice. It's pretty heavy, I'm not gonna lie. It's got some weight to it. 25 pounds, it's right on the money. I feel like the concave on this is good, but it's too big. Why? It's very wide, but it's also very long. We definitely have some opinions on it, but... Be sure to stay tuned for part two when we go and test this thing out on the street, see what specs are, and talk to you guys more about the other options you guys can go through when you're building your own board. If you guys are still watching, we really appreciate it. Please click the subscribe button down below and... Shout out to Joshua, we know you're watching. Yes. Appreciate it, homie. We really appreciate it. Right, see where my finger is? Like right there, yeah, right there.